Hello everybody, welcome to Wine Library TV. I am your host, Gary Vayner Chuck. And this, my friends, is The Thunder Show. And uh, I'm back from vacation, uh, had a wonderful time, Lizzie and I, Turks and Caicos, mod. crazy. The water, the beaches, um, just an amazing, amazing time. And so, it's always nice to kind of like decompress after the insanity of all the TV shows and the book and everything. But uh, while I was away, uh, we, re we uh, received some sad news and, uh, you know, really couldn't wait at some level to get back and pay tribute to a guy who probably has the single, not, you know, let's take probably out, Mont, has the single greatest impact on the California wine business, which by the way is a $20 billion industry. And uh, one that's only very, very young actually, only probably about 30, 40 years old. Um, and uh, the modern California wine industry due to prohibition, that lovely thing that happened in this country. Uh, I'm speaking of course of Robert Mondavi, who, um, who sadly on uh, the 16th passed away. But at the age of 94, and I'm gonna say it here right now, I'll take it. Mott, give it to me. I will sign right now for 94. Um, I know we have advances in technology and maybe we'll all be living longer, but I'll still sign for 94. Um, a great man um, who I had the privilege of meeting several different times and who was always extremely kind to me. Um, you know, he was much older when I started meeting him uh, and his son's Michael was really more day-to-day -day involved and I, I spent more time with Michael, but uh, Mr. Robert Mondavi is beyond legendary. Um, you know, he was very much in the wine industry for a long time when he started his winery in 1966, Mott. So you figure only about 40 years old is the Mondavi winery. And, um, you know, it, it paid off. He was a very impassionate guy. You, you know, we, we talk about you with a little bit of me. We're changing the wine world. Uh, and I think we're on our way at some level. Um, but this guy really changed the wine world. He was convinced in 1966 when he started that California wine could be of the same level of the French wines. And it really paid off. You know, he, uh, he, he was like the leading voice he was the stepping stone to a lot of other special people from Joe Heights and Raymond Newsom, all these amazing guys in, uh, in California that were, you know, Stag's Leap and Heights and Maya Camus that were Camus, Chuck Wagner, that came a little bit later. He was the guy who kind of gave the juice to the area. And uh, it paid off because, you know, 10 years later in 1976 in the Judgment of Paris, that famous blind tasting in Paris. Uh, by the way, huge movie coming out on that, Mott. Uh, Bottle Shock coming out this August. We'll be talking more about that in the future. Um, you know, 10 years later, California beat, you know, a couple California wines beat French wines in a blind tasting in Paris that pretty much changed the landscape and changed everything for California wines. And so, you know, three years after that, in 79, he created uh, with Baron Philippe Rothschild the Opus One. And the Opus One product was very important because what happened there was a top. Mouton Rothschild, a top first growth Bordeaux producer, came to California to make wine with Robert Mondavi in a joint venture, really solidifying, if there was any doubt, of the quality of California. So in a 13-year span from starting Mondavi to 79 when he had Mouton coming here to make a wine, he really was the guy, the man. And, you know, I just... Uh, Thought there was no way I could come back and start the Thunder Show this week without doing a Mondavi tribute and episode. Not only was he a pioneer and a genius in marketing and building the business and the brand of Napa Valley, but he was an awfully nice guy and donated a lot of money to charities and, and did a lot of the right things. Um, you know, uh, just a good dude. And you know, and I just want to raise my glass and you know and say uh, you know thank you because obviously. Um, you know, a lot of what he accomplished and did uh, impacts my life and, and millions of other people in the wine industry, especially in the U.S. And so um, what we're doing here today in tribute is the 2005, the current release, Robert Mondavi uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. It's a $17 bottle of wine, um, which is a very fair price for a Mondavi. Uh, let's give it a sniffy sniff. Really subtle blackberry flavors, a little oak coming through little spice, you know, in 2004, I guess now is it, that, you know, Constellation Brands came in and bought out the Mondavi family out of their brand. Stock prices going public has those kind of impacts. So uh, um, that's, you know, kind of ha where the Mondavi legacy ended. I think it's only fitting that we score this wine 100 points today, Mom. And, uh, you know, I want to 
tell the Mondavi family that obviously our thoughts and prayers are with them. But obviously, you know, 94 and what he did and what he lived is darn good. I think all of us could only hope to go halfway where uh, Mr. Mondavi went. And so, thank you, Mr. Robert Mondavi. You were a huge impact on many, many people. You, with a little bit of me, we're changing the wine world, whether they like it or not.